Some enterprising Guyanese set up businesses along the Georgetown seawall a long time ago. On Monday, the government served notice on them to remove within a day. The reason given was that the government wanted to pursue developmental works. On Tuesday, Mayor Alfred Mentor visited the location to meet with the affected businesses. Even though we know we don't have the jurisdiction over the seawall itself, we are responsible for the development council. We believe that we should join in solidarity with those branded here um, that are having always given a notice to move from yesterday to today. We heard this news and we thought as a council, we should come out here. You I see beside me Councillor Hines, Councillor Solomon, Councillor Fraser, and I believe Councillor Ford. We're all here to join in solidarity with those forces here who the government is asking to be displaced. He said that the time given to the businesses is unrealistic. He offered to identify spaces in the city for the people to continue their operations. We know there's limited space in the city. We will seek to find some way, but that will also have to be a collaboration between us and the government. But for them to move or to ask them to move, we believe is an unconscionable position. It's a position that we, we won't even do at the level of the council. Only up to yesterday, we've had a meeting and we spoke about our bazaar and we've referred that matter back to our markets to find solutions and workable solutions so that people could live. Mentor noted that some of the businesses provide employment to many. One of the operators employs almost a dozen people. This means that not only the owner would be affected, but also would the dozen other families. He said that the council is concerned when the government makes such decisions without thought. We've seen they've done these kind of things in Agricola. We've seen they try to do this the other day at home street selling, where we have some, some persons there. And we see a number of these things that keep popping up every day. You can't just do, do these kind of things in the interest of development um, and not find an, another considerate position or work with the persons to find a solution. We hear that those persons here and those other persons along this seawall supposedly having a meeting with government tomorrow. Um, we should have to wait till you have a crisis situation to be able to fit with that. He queried the reason for this impromptu action. Because this, we're hearing about this, this hotel, uh, this Qatari hotel thing just behind us. Is that the reason? We are, we are concerned that matter for litigation currently in the courts. And, and if they said that they want to move persons, I did indicate some time ago when we had interviews in relation to this matter that persons will be displaced. I did suggest in my talks or my interviews or my press conference on this matter that an EIA should have been done. The environmental impact assessment would have provided information on the number of people to be displaced. There should have been some consultation, he said. You just can't get up one morning and choose to do or make certain decisions that will affect those persons. And I, as mayor of the city of Georgian, will stand with those persons, will stand in solidarity with them, and will work to find ways. But at the same time, at, immediately, the decision to do this has to be suspended.